your stance. Okay, the offense has the advantage of snap count. Okay, so he's gonna get off on the ball first. So these guys moving in slow motion. So Scotty, come out. If it takes me for keep going till now to react, I'm gonna have literally no chance to have a step and strike. Okay, so I have to react very, very quickly. So we gotta train ourselves to get out of our stance as quick as we can. So as soon as Scotty he flinches, okay, I have a chance to get my hands on him and get extended very, very quickly with my step and strike. Okay, so how quick can I get there? It's how quick, really, can I get from my stance to this position. Okay, from there, now I have a chance to escape and go make plays or squeeze the guy back in a hole. If it takes me two and a half seconds to get to there, which some of you guys are going to find, you're going to both come out of your stance, because it's going to be this, fight, 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 then eventually I get there, you're not going to make me plays because the plays happen too fast. Okay, so the quicker you can stick it and get separation, the more you have a chance to make plays. So the next stage we're going to work on, and I saw one of you guys, I think the creator guys, Coach Swanson, kind of moved ahead with you guys because you guys were had it down already, which is good. He's our fit to win, so he's going to lock in and start in a fit position. So a lot of times we may not get to here to here right away. We might have two even combatants. He might get stuck in a little bit of a stalemate. Now we got to get from here to separate it. So Scotty's going to stagger his feet. He's got some forward lean. We want about 80% resistance out of this guy. Now he's got to shoot the upper body, incline press motion, shoot the lower body at the same time, and extend out. You can see how he didn't just stand straight up. If he does stand up slightly, go back to start. If he does stand up slightly, with some guys when they shoot their hips, slow motion, then he'll reset immediately back down and get his pad a little back down. Because we'd like to use the hips, right? definitely, the guys that use their hips are awesome step and strike guys because their hips explode on contact. If you only use your upper body, you're going to take a long time. Okay? So he's going to do one more time. Right foot back. Set. Go! Okay. Hands extended and finished. Okay? So we're trying to get maximum effort out of that. And again, it's almost like a clean or a clean snatch anything where we're trying to explode very quickly and finish quickly. Okay? So now, after that, we'll go stance to win. So both guys are actually going to start in a stance. The offensive guy is going to come out. We're going to go on the same snap count, so there's no distinct advantage for the offense. So we should win easily on defense. But offense, we want about 80% effort again. We just want to let the defensive guy get his hands inside. Okay, so set. Go! Right, again, from there to there. Now, it's easier with pads on. Both guys don't have pads on, so my, my demo rep can come out. So you're going to your stance. You can give him 80% effort. Uh, and actually, just take awesome. your helmet off. Just we've That's had a few face. demo guys in the past that take the helmet in the face. That's kind of weird. Okay. Here you go. Set. Make you look better. Go. Okay. Locked out. Again, as quick as he can. See, Reed Justin. Again, even though he's a taller guy at six six, he's in a position on this pad level. His thumb, his his hands are above eye level, chest over knee, knee over toe. He can hold that off. Now he has a chance to escape and go. Okay. So you're out of there. So now we'll have Scotty do it once. So more DT oriented. Some of you guys haven't done this for a month or two, so there you go, set. Now one thing is already is Scotty's too close, okay? So we want to give ourselves time to react, so when we do this against the offense, which we will tomorrow, we want to have somewhat of a semblance of a neutral zone. There you go, set. Go! Okay. Again, came up a little bit with his pad level and missed a little bit high, but again, the finish point, <laughs> what he's trying to get is the same, the thumbs up, <laughs> elbows in, hands at eye level above, chest over knee, knee over toe. So those are the two things we're going to break apart next. We should have a chance to go through those before we have to come back and rotate. So real quickly, spit black in your groups real quick. So hustle out. 